Hello and welcome to the Jacobs School of Music's very own Office of Entrepreneurship and Career Development. My name is Nathan Fisher and today I'm going to help you get organized to build your first website. Your website is a professional portfolio capable of communicating who you are to the world. A well-organized website enables you to define your public image and feature your best work. You will use your website to engage with concert promoters, potential students, fellow researchers, and build your fan base. For these reasons, it's important to research what you want and collect necessary documents in advance, so building your website will be quick, smooth, and will remain a high-quality process. Start by picking three to five websites by peers or mentors that appeal to you. Use these sites to mirror your layout and content. It's okay to select websites from industries outside of music or musicians who play different instruments. Study these websites and take note on their layout and quality of content. Next, search for your personal web address, also known as a URL. You can search availability through companies like resell.biz or godaddy.com. Open one of these sites and type in your name.com and hit search. If the URL is not available, try another variation like yournamemusic.com or yournameflute.com. Do this until you find a URL you like, one that's easy to remember and one that fits your personal brand. Don't pay for a URL until you decide on your hosting platform because most hosting platforms offer a one-year free custom URL. Once you have your personal URL selected, you'll need to choose your hosting platform. If this is your first website, we recommend template websites available through companies like Wix.com, Weebly.com, or Squarespace.com because they're easy to learn and use. Keep in mind your budget. The good news is, if this is a personal website, then the least expensive hosting option with these companies will probably work for you. Speak with friends and mentors about what choice they made, and make an appointment with a career advisor to discuss the best option for you. Once you've completed these steps, you are ready to organize your documents. Start by creating a master folder on your desktop or in your documents folder. This is where you will store your site assets. Create subfolders for assets like images, audio, video, and biography. In your images folder, store high resolution images that include professional headshots, images of live performances, concert halls you've played in, practice spaces, or anything that helps define your professional identity. In your audio files folder, store MP3 or WAV files. You can embed these files in your site or upload them to a social media site such as soundcloud.com, then embed the SoundCloud links in your website. Include a variety of work samples such as solo, combo, chamber, big band, orchestral, concerto, or other interesting performances. In your video folder, store video files or create a document with links to featured videos on your YouTube channel. Video files are large and because of this, it's easier to link your website to YouTube. Last, write a short biography and save it in the biography folder. For a starter website, a 200 word biography should suffice, but you are free to make it as long as you wish. Once you have taken these first steps towards organizing your portfolio materials, you are ready to start your website. Make an appointment with the OECD today and we will help keep your build easy and on track.